Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Surviving Mars. My name is Thomas, and this is episode number nine. In the prior episode, we were able to get our first Martian born. And so let's see what happens in today's episode. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm going to go over here and hit the fast button. And here we are. We're waiting to refuel our rocket, and we'll send that back. And uh, yeah, we are looking at decommission protocol. And I think it may be good to get some more scientists over here. Uh, we are scanning a anomaly, which is nice. And what do we have here? An underground rare metals. An underground deposit of rare metals can be exploited by a rare metal extractor staffed by colonists. And then we have a low grade on it. Okay, cool. So it appears that we can extract this Anomaly for analyzed. some rare metals. Cool. All right. What's this? New tech. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest simple looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Okay, yeah, we've read this. So, low G engineering and utility crops. Unlock new crops and farms and hydroponic farms that provide oxygen and improve soil quality. Moxie upgrade, oxygen production increased by 50%. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, cool. Let's continue. What's this? New dome medium. New dome trigon. Okay, and a triangle. Cool. All right. We're in no rush to get more domes, I don't think. Okay, so let's... Uh see what else we can do here okay so I think what I'm going to do here is you know let's press B here and I'm gonna head over to the sensor tower and so I'm gonna hit M and we got a lot to scan here and I, I kind of really want to begin unlocking too far from drone commander well don't worry about that so we have the electrostatic dust storm approaching the bomb attention is required uh oh so much going on already an unbelievable amount of uncounted funds was suddenly appeared in our accounts but are currently kept frozen this comes shortly after we received the following cryptic message seth requires mission to test the bomb at safe distance from your Martian colony. These funds should cover the inconvenience. Does Seth have permission? What? What's this? Some kind of joke? Disregard. The colony can use the additional funding. Answer, yes. Follow the message and identify the sender. Do it now. Okay, you know, this sounds pretty dangerous, so I'm going to say uh, disregard. The money has been withdrawn from your account. Looks like the mysterious offer is now off the table. That's fine. <laughs> I, you know, the money looks enticing, but you know, I don't want anything blowing up at this really vulnerable state in my colony. So let's take the safe, safe path here. And I'm going to go back to the research here. And I believe we have the tech here for the sensor towers right here. Sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this takes electronics. So I'm going to head over to the RC commander. And I'm actually going to mainly resources are low. have them offload that. And yeah, we we have an electrostatic dust storm in 14 hours. That's kind of nerve wracking, but we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's hope I'm right. 
I feel like I'm prepared. I want to get the rocket out of here too, if possible. All right, here we go. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to say pick up the electronics. Okay, 10 there and pick up some metals. There, okay. And then I'm going to take this guy here. Let's launch him to get out of here. Cool. All right, so I'm going to send the RC commander there and I'm going to send the RC transport there as well. And so now I'm going to go build these sensors. And this is going to help me scan the map a bit quicker so that we can find more anomalies. All right, I think this is good. So let's click into here, B, boom. Go to the map, zoom up over here, B, sensor tower right in there. Okay, yeah, this is looking great. And so take a look at that. We're able to scan just a bit quicker with that sensor tower there. So we can queue this all up here and we can begin queuing all of that up. That's great. And you know, let's go ahead and build a sensor tower in here. There might be something of value. So I'm going to hit RC commander here or the RC transport and RC commander here. And uh, we're going to go along and begin building these sensor towers. Apparently there's no way for me to get down here quite yet. So hopefully you will be able to figure that out in the future. Uh, we are preparing for the dust storm in one hour. You know, it's make me a bit nervous, but surely I can handle it. Um, this is definitely going to give me more power production, which is great. So now we're at 10.6 and that not knocks out the moxies, but we do have oxygen stored up here. I hope this is enough. We need to get through um, one soul in 22 hours. So uh, everyone better bunker down. Uh, we'll see how this goes. You know, we have water that continues to pump, which is pretty nice. All right. And uh, this guy is done. A lightning strike will resume work in several hours. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so I'm going to go to the next one over here. You know, RC transport there and commander right there. Cool. And how are we looking for machine parts? We're looking really good. Negative two on the water su supply here. We're good on the water here, though. The oxygen's negative five. Oh, that's probably because of the storm and it knocking out the moxie. Okay, or the the moisture evaporator. Okay, yep, that makes sense. That is like the total combined water that we have going on right now. All right. And where is this little kiddo at? Whoa, that was close to the dome. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, how are we looking on oxygen? We're looking just fine. We're looking just fine. Okay. Uh, so let's continue. Let's grab that one. And that one over there. And we just want to continue to build these sensors. And everything is looking nominal. Let's go ahead and continue to scan these anomalies. And, you know, we might as well build... I... Th I think these are like the deep scans with the border, with the um, dotted borders. I think that's what it is. Yeah, see, it says scanned. Scan again for deep deposits. 
Okay. So if we do this, we can scan for deep deposits. So what I want to do is, you know, since we're going to be scanning these twice, I'm going to put a sensor tower there. These are good over here. We do have a deep scan right there. A deep water, which is great. Uh, is there any other sensors you think I need? We've got a sensor there. We got a sensor there, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. Um, so RC Commander can go over here. Okay, let's keep going. And how are we doing on oxygen? Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I think we're going to die, everybody. I think we're going to die. Sector uh -oh. scanned. Uh oh. Building a new home on an alien world. That takes guts, to say the least. Yeah, no kidding. After all, purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Since arriving on Mars, Chloe Carson enthusiasm has proven to be above average. Even the founder norms and pro productivity display can be boiled down to one simple explanation. Chloe Carson really loves doing what Chloe Carson doing. The founder, Chloe Carson, has an enthusiast trait. Cool. That's the spirit. All right. Resources are low. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We're about to lose some oxygen. Breakthrough discovered. Oh, really? New spire building cloning vats create clones over time. Clone colonists grow and age twice as fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? All right, uh, let's go ahead and scan this anomaly. And yeah, we're going to go build this scanner out here. And, you know, this is really bad news. 21 hours left, everyone. Place your bets. Am I going to survive or not? We're running very low on oxygen. Oh, my goodness. We've got a lot of food stored up here. Um, you know, everything's looking good besides the oxygen. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and build this over here. And yeah, we're just, we're scanning. We are just scanning, deep scanning, uh, 17 hours left. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Uh, this is looking good. We're scanning all of that. I think we're going to be fine, everyone. I think we're... Oh my gosh, it's so close. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't lose any colonists. All right, so that's done. Let's head back over here and build this one. Okay, 12 hours left. 12 hours left. Everyone, you're going to have to hold your breath. You're going to have to hold your breath. <laughs> okay. A bit stressful here, everyone. Look at all that concrete. It's a beautiful thing. And we could place another concrete extractor here. Nine hours left, everybody. Oh my goodness. Sector scanned. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want any colonists to die. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Suffocation! Our colonists are suffocating. We only have a few hours to get them more oxygen before they run out. Our domes are large enough to contain tons of breathable air, but when the system fails to refresh 
the supply, the amount of carbon dioxide will steadily increase until the atmosphere becomes unbreathable. Colonists with suffocation status effects have no access to oxygen and will die within a short time. Connect their dome to operational moxies and oxygen tanks or plant oxygen producing crops and farms to supply them with oxygen. Troubling. Okay. Okay. We're out of oxygen, everyone. Everyone. And we have six hours left. Let's see if we can make it through the day here. Um, you know, they are casually eating. They don't seem like they're out of oxygen. Um, <laughs> my dome is frosting over. Oh, this is... Oh, no. I think they're getting a bit dizzy. They're like, oh, what, what am I doing? I don't have enough oxygen to my brain. Why? I forgot. Did I wash my hair today? <laughs> Oh, oh my good uh oh anomaly analyzed oh my gosh i keep saying that but yeah you know pretty problematic here there's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder so long as you know where to look okay micro manufacturing and microgravity medicine Okay. There it is. Microgravity medicine. A new spire building medical center. Okay, that's pretty nice. And a Logi high rise. Logi engineering and micro manufacturing. New building. Electronic factory. Ah, that's how we get electronics. So we're going to have to kind of rush to that as well. Uh, okay. Uh, two hours left. Oh my gosh, look at my colonist. They're all going crazy. No oxygen. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, man. Guys, you can get through it. One hour left. <laughs> Come on. So now we know we need more. Um... Okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. We survived. Thankfully. And uh, so now we know we need more oxygen. So I'm going to go add some more oxygen. Just like that. All right. And yeah, I think everyone's taking a break Sector after that. Scanned. Okay, cool. Um... That's looking good. So I, I think it's time to call in some more colonists. So I'm going to head back to the resupply. And let's say passenger. And we want to filter. We do have geologists, but we also want scientists. So we'll do that. Geologist, scientist, geologist, scientist, geologist, scientist, scientist, botanist. Okay. All right. I want a lot of botanists too. So what I want to do is get... I want to get that out of there. No specialization. You know, I... How many scientists? One, two, three four five that's pretty good um but i want more botanist so i'm gonna go grab a couple of those one there any other botanist yeah here we go all right so there we go a bunch of scientists, geologists, and botanists. So we're going to launch those. And, you know, we're going to open these shifts up here. And, you know, we're going to fill these with a bunch of scientists. And we're also going to open these up as well for the botanist. And I'll open, you know, a shift there. That's going to be open. All right. 
Yeah. Cool. Cool. And look at this. We have more oxygen, which is great. Which is great. So, well, what's next here? I am not sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, let's take a look at some of these stats. Inspect buildings. And so can I take a look at the individuals in my building? Transportation, power, storage. Okay. These are just kind of like filters. Back and um, colonists, a total of 13. And we have one Martian born, so that would be the 13th individual. Okay, colonist. Here we go. Oh, look at this. And so where is our Martian born? Uh, is it... That's a founder. Founder. So I think this is the one. Is Chloe Carson with the enthusiast trait? No, that's a founder. Founder, founder... Founder, 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 founder. Um, uh oh. Ping Tang is negative or 17. Souls on Mars, 8. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Where are all the other ones? Uh, child. Huh, I wonder where my Martian born is. Is that Marvin? Marvin... Oh, there he is, guys. Uh, Marvin Comet. What an interesting name. This one was born on Mars. Yeah, it says there in the bottom right, Martian-born. Colonists never become Earth-sick. The Martian-born group of techs can improve traits significantly. Okay. Four souls on Mars. Cool. All right. Well, I think we should... Cultivate desired perks. For the children, you know? So, we can do that. And then, hopefully we can specialize our children into something really desirable. And we got plenty of room for more residents here and i'm sure this is going to grow even more sector scanned but yeah this is looking pretty good let's head over to our rover we built that so i think we're good to go here for the scanner towers i'm gonna offload those resources back here i want to say all and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring back the RC commander. And then let's go ahead. Do we have any more anomalies to scan? We sure do. We sure do. There it is. So we get that scanned. We have a bunch of oxygen all set up here. We're building a school for the children. I'm sure we'll have a whole lot, a lot more. We are sending over a rocket. And so, what can we do here? Ah, okay. So, 
So I like enthusiast trait. And compose. Sure, nerd gain temporal moral boost every time a new technology is researched. Yeah, that sounds good. And there he is. There he is. So composed a nerd and Marvin Comet is in school and we're going to, you know, no specialization now, but we're going to um, Resources are low. get him specialized. Uh, no power, power's low. Why? Why? Maybe it's because we built a lot of things in here. 20 out of 15. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Sector scanned. That's a problem. So let's let's go ahead and extend our power. Um where do I want to build this power? I think we could build more power this way. And let's hit B. And I'm going to place a turbine there. And I'll go one, two, three. You know, one, two, th you know, like that. Yeah. And I'm holding shift down. And. Look, we have Hyperium number one, ready to land. Could bring those colonists in here, which is good. You know, how's power looking? Power is looking nominal. Yep, 27 out of 15. Okay, good. And here come our colonists with a bunch of food. Anomaly analyzed. A new anomaly? There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Cool. So what did we unlock? Well, we have the supported community lowers the risk of colonists developing flaws. Ah, okay. Martian patience. Licensed Martians technology for use back on Earth. 500 million uh mega storage new building large water tank oh that's really nice that's uh, oh a sterling generator ah uh, so we could probably build those on the planet here still doing some research but i think research is going to go a bit quicker now look at all these scientists we have we could see we're producing 553 so that's good you know, that's good. Um, we can like open these shifts eventually. You know, he's working there. Uh, great. And it looks like I have one job that's unemployed. Um, so hopefully they'll fill that in here at some point. Sector scanned. Okay. Um,. Great, we're all full of botanists there. And uh, everything's looking pretty good. Oh, this extracts water or rock? Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Okay, well, we need to build another stone pit over here. Okay, there we go. There we go. And so, you know, the next step is to like we need to like start extracting some metals. We need to extract metals. Look at that. We're all, we can already send this back. Wonderful. So we have metal extractors, but I think I think it needs to be yet yeah, requires colonists and is too far from domes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build a second Research dome here. Complete. 
and um, let's go ahead and build this dome right here right in the middle because we're going to get the rare resources and we're going to get the metals here sector scanned so I think this is a good place for a second dome so we're going to get that set up there we do need to get another drone hub. So I'm going to place a drone hub. Oh crap, yeah, we need to bring that in. Decommission protocol is done. That's great, so we can put an end to this guy, I think. Salvage. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's great. And then delete that. What's this? Rebuild, clear. Yeah, clear that. Grab all those resources. And let's go ahead and schedule a cargo rocket to bring some drone hubs over. We'll get four of those. We'll get some more moisture evaporators. Actually, I just want a supply pod. And then let's bring the drone hubs over like that. And then we'll launch that. Okay, good. And then we can queue these up. Like that. And we are doing a deep scan right now for this. I wonder if we can position this guy over here. And we can use this to pick up some more resources on the map. You know, like right here. And bring that back. And we do have another anomaly here, so I'm going to go and scan that. Oh, you're just out of range here. Bring Sector them up a scanned. bit further. Ooh. Another anomaly with the deep scan. Really, really nice. And spend five million. Cool. Two sterling generator prefabs. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So they should be able to build this now. All right. Yeah. And then, you know, we can begin extracting some of these metals. These metal extractors. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So, you know, we put one there. Okay, and yeah, we can extract that. Not only that, we can also extract the rare metals here. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. It's a rough life here on Mars. You can't prepare for addiction. Despite the great lengths we go through to make it seem safe and as close as possible to home, one mine is never too far from dangers that the privilege of being an interplanetary pioneer carries. We all find our own ways to cope with pressure. David Benjamin finds it in the bottle. The founder, David Benjamin, has the alcoholic trait. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alcohol is not the answer, Benjamin. It is not the answer. Okay, cool. We got our second dome opening up. We have one unemployed seeking work, but there's really no place we can put that individual. Research is going a bit quicker. We'll land that here. And that should give us our prefabs. 
grab that. And here we go. Sector scanned. We could do that there. Build that prefab. And we could prioritize this just to get this built. And there. Now we have more drones to continue to build this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're making really good progress, for sure. And look at all this fuel we have, you know, so we can say, hey, we want to build another depot and we want to make it a fuel depot. So, you know, we could place it there and we can collect all that fuel. Okay. And that, not only that, we could be like, hey, we want another depot, but this time it's going to be for food. Okay, so now the food can be stored over here as well. Look at all that fuel. Just so much fuel, it's a wonderful thing to see. We also have this extractor here to get us some metals. Now we can kind of get away from the surface deposits which is pretty nice. And, you know, this is going to be the community food here, you know. We also need to get a farming dome as well, so we got to prioritize that eventually. It's not every day that we have the luxury to choose from what Mars has to offer. The planet constantly reminds us of its old habit to give one to give with one hand and to take with the other. The rover came across a rock rich uranium clustered on top of a rich deposit the mineral veins are positioned in such a manner inside the rock that we couldn't blast through without composing or compromising some of them we faced a difficult decision but at the end it was a matter of simple pragmatics exploit the vein rich metal deposits rare metal oh yeah rare Yeah, sure. Sure. And I think that was Sector right here. Scanned. Very high. Oh my goodness. That's great. That's great. Okay, we'll go ahead and scan that. And, you know, the dome is coming online. We got plenty of co concrete. Everything's looking good. All right, everybody, I think this is a good place to end today's episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Have a good week. Bye.